Real, 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 real. He's got it. Got him. There we go. There's a decent spot. Up he comes. All right, let's get him under control. There's a beautiful spotted bass right there for you. Long, skinny, hard fighting fish right there. Back he goes. Hey everybody, let's talk about spotted bass terrain for just a second. We're here at Allen Henry Lake in West Texas. Spotted bass here live really deep, probably deeper than they do in some other parts of the country. I can show you right here in front, look how steep this terrain is right here. Those rocks fall straight off and my boat is sitting in 40 feet of water right now and I'm throwing up in about uh, probably 10 to 15 and dragging it off in that 40. So let me give you these keys. No matter where you live, spotted bass versus largemouth. Largemouth bass tend to live shallower in murkier water and on flatter terrain and around more brushy type cover. Spotted bass tend to live on steeper terrain, clearer water, more steep rocky type structure and a lot deeper than a largemouth bass typically lives. These, it's nothing for a spotted bass to live in 40, 50, 60 feet of water, something like that. So remember that when you're fishing for these fish. And uh, by the way, if you want to come to this lake, Allen Henry, it's really a tricky lake. I, I've, I've spent a day and a half here and had a hard time trying to figure these fish out. I can catch some two, two and a half pound fish, but they catch a lot bigger spotted bass than that that live in this lake.